Hi guys, it's Ellen and today I have a new scrapbook layout to share with you and in this video I'm using the beautiful uh, Wildflower and Honey collection by Vicky Bootin. So I'm starting out with this um, blue sort of distressed looking pattern paper. This one is called Full Bloom and on the back um, it's full of these floral designs which I fussy cut out. You can see on the left hand side of my screen there the, um, the ones that I've cut out. So I wanted to add some a, more interest to this background. It's beautiful as it is but I just wanted to add a little bit of mixed media so I took a sort of cracked paint stamp and used archival ink to stamp that onto the page and then I also took a dotty stencil and passed some texture paste through that and I knew that my photo was going to go in the centre slightly to the left so that's why I've situated all of that um, texture and stamping around that side. So I've then got this photo, this is taken at one of my best friend's birthday party and, and I've backed that onto some packaging and distressed the edges of both the photo and the mat that I put it on. I wanted to add some cheesecloth behind my photo but where I have the white texture paste I didn't want to just leave it white, I wanted to add some colour. So I've taken two of my distress inks, the peacock feathers and mustard seed and I'm just um, putting some of that onto my desk and spraying some water and I'm just going to put my cheesecloth into that and move it around. Um, just to add some colour onto that. I love how cheesecloth looks with the Distress ink, um, it can look really pretty. I'm going to back my photo onto some foam for dimension um, and then add my cheesecloth behind it. So I've stuck my photo down with wet glue just because there's a lot of texture and obviously there's the fabric and everything around that. And then I'm taking the flowers that I fussy cut from the other side of the blue pattern paper and I'm just arranging these around my photo um, and I'm adding that big floral cluster at the in the bottom right hand corner and then yeah just playing around with the florals of where I want them to go. Once I'm happy with them, I'll stick them down with wet glue and some of them with a little bit of foam um, adds interesting dimension to the page.
I've then got the 12 by 12 sticker sheet from the same collection and I'm just picking out a few things. Um, that one I've just put under the title, um, under the photo just says love your selfie because this was a selfie of all of us. And I've also taken some of the floral stickers and um, touched them under the floral pieces that I fussy cut just to add um, a little bit more colour to the page. I really like that pop of bright colour um, underneath the black and white florals. I think that looks really pretty. I decided to go for that sticker that says sweet moments and use that as my title for this page and I've just put that on the bottom corner and then I felt I needed something in the top right hand corner so I added another floral cluster sticker. I've also added two of the circle stickers. One says yes and the blue one says love and the blue one I popped up onto some foam again for dimension and then I'm just going through the rest of the ephemera and stickers that I have and picking a few things out to stick onto the page. The stickers that I've used, some of them have a sort of bronzy, goldy, holographic um, shine to them. So I took some of my bronze ink, watered it down and added splatters to tie that in. I added the date and placed at the top in a white pen and that's my page all finished. So I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thank you very much for being here. Bye guys! Bye.